Today, we're going to talk about how we know the difference between a vowel team or a diphthong. So let's first look at the vowel teams. Vowel teams are as easy as one, two, three, you guessed it, four. What does that mean? I have four vowels that team. I, A, O, and E. So vowel teams are two vowels that work together and they represent or capture the long vowel sound. So the I vowel team is going to say I. The A vowel teams are going to capture the sound A. The O vowel teams are going to capture the sound O. The E vowel teams are going to capture the sound E. You'll notice that U does not team. So if I hear a long U sound, it's not going to be a vowel team. It's going to be a final magic E word. Let's take a look at the first team, I. Dash IE says I in words like pie, tie, die, and lie. They're the only four words that you're going to hear the I sound as represented by IE. Let's take a look at the A teams. AI says A, dash AY says A. Do you know when I'll use which team? You're right. If you thought about dash IE coming at the end, then you said dash AY probably comes at the end of a word. It does. It comes at the end of a word or a syllable. Let's fingerspell the word play. Pull A. Pull P L A. You guessed it. I'm going to use A Y because it comes at the end of a word or a syllable. But if I hear A in the middle or the beginning of the word, like in the word aim, aim, A, M, it's at the beginning. I'm going to use A I. I will aim my dart towards the dartboard. What about the word braid? Let's finger spell it. Braid, br, a, d. I hear that a sound in the middle of a word. So I'm going to use a, i in the beginning or the middle of a word for the a sound when I'm using a vowel team. So I need to think about the position of where I'm hearing the sound when I'm deciding which vowel team I'm going to use in a vowel team word. So O has three teams, OA, dash OW, and dash OE. Luckily, my decision making is made easy because OE is only used in toe, do, ho, and tiptoe to represent that long O sound. How do I tell the difference between OA and dash OW? You guessed it. OA is going to come at the beginning or the middle of a word to represent that O sound. Dash OW is going to come at the end. Now you may be saying to yourself, well, W is a consonant. Well, W is known as a helper vowel. So when I see OW together, I'm going to know it's going to make a long O sound. It can come at the beginning or the middle of a word if the word ends in L or N like in the word own, o -n. I hear O, I'm going to use O-W, and then I hear N, I'm going to use N. And that's because the word ends in that N. So if a word ends in N or L, I can use O-W to represent the O sound. There are four E teams, E-E, E-A, -E -E I-E, and dash E-Y. E-E and E-A are the most commonly used. Sometimes I have to memorize some commonly used words if I don't recognize the team that goes in those words. But I'm sure there's some words that you recognize that use those teams already. For example, in the word week, week, there are seven days in a week. I'm going to use EE. -E. Like in a word week, I was weak from swimming all day. Week, I'm going to use EA there. I use IE in words like field, relief, believe, and you'll notice that the E is doing the talking there, not the I. Dash EY, when do I use that for the E sound? You guessed it, at the end of a word, like in key, K E. 
EA can also make a short vowel sound. It can say eh, like in heavy, red, bread. But in your reading, try the E, A as the long vowel sound first. That's what it's most commonly used. So how do I know if it's a word with a vowel team? Well, first I'm gonna see two vowels next to each other. One of the vowels is saying it's the name though. And what does that mean? It's the long vowel sound. I, A, O, or E. How do I know if it's a word with a diphthong? I'm going to see two vowels again, but the sound that the vowels represent is special or unique. There are five diphthong sounds. The first special or unique sound is uh, as in look. L, uh, k. O, O is saying uh. It's not saying ah, uh, it's not saying oh, it's saying uh. The sound is special or unique, and that's what makes it a diphthong. My second special or unique sound is oo, as in boo, chew, blue, fruit. That's right, I have four representations for oo. Oo, oo is definitely the most common. Dash ew says oo at the end of a word. Dash ue says oo at the end of a word. Ui also says oo, but it's not as commonly used. My third diphthong sound is oi, as in point or boy. So when I hear oi in a word, which am I going to choose? Absolutely. Oi is going to come at the beginning or the middle of a word. O-Y is going to come at the end of a word or a syllable. So at the end of a word, like in boy, b, oi. But also could be at the end of a syllable, like in the word oyster. The first syllable is oi. So I'm going to use my O-Y. My fourth diphthong sound is ow, as in ouch or cow. I'm going to use O-U at the beginning or the middle of a word. I'm going to use O-W commonly at the end of a word, like in the word cow, k, ow. You'll see the W again. And what did we say about the W? Right, it's a helper vowel. So whenever I see the W after the O, I know it's going to be helping the other vowel. I can use O-W as ow, making that special sound when it ends in L or N. Like in the word owl, I heard the owl hooting from the tree. Owl, ooh. I'm gonna use O-W because it's followed by an L or an N. My last diphthong sound is all, as in cause or jaw. How do I know which all to use? Absolutely right. A-U is going to come in the beginning or the middle of a word. And A-W for all will come at the end of the word or the syllable. So, vowel teams versus diphthongs. I'm going to see two vowels in both situations. But vowel teams capture a long vowel sound, which means the vowel is saying its name. I, A, O, E. The vowels in a diphthong capture a unique or special sound. So when I'm thinking vowel team versus diphthong, I wanna think about the sound that the vowel is making.